Hey, this is Matt from Dad's Got a Deal, and it's just me. I'm a tired dad, just got the kids to bed. Um, if you could see this floor, you see it's covered in Legos. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I wanted to talk tonight about um, these LED replacements for fluorescent T8 bulbs. Um, if you're sick of replacing fluorescent lights, worried about dropping them, um, having them explode, uh, LEDs are where it's at. They use less energy. And I ordered this four pack of Hyper, Hyper Icon. Who knows where it came from? But uh, got it on Amazon. Do the four pack, you get, you save some money. So that's good. I was wondering why this box was so small, um, you know, considering the regular fluorescent bulbs. And uh, it's because the LED uh, diameter is actually smaller. Um, I mean, the, the housing for these. So, you get four in here. I already uh, took a couple out because I already installed them so I could do the video. I'll open one to show you. And I got my trusty Maracnev. Maracnev? Maracnev? I don't know how to say it, Swedish. Um, blade. I love it for just taking around the house and opening things because it doesn't have a sharp point, so it's not super dangerous. Uh, these two surfaces are really sharp though. So, here's the bulb. Uh, it's like a regular T8. It's got the uh, contacts on both sides. Little protectors here. And you can see, it's got a, just a bunch of LEDs all around here. I haven't counted them. It's uh, UL rated, which is good, nice and safe. 18 watts, so I'm replacing one of these for a 40 watt fluorescent. I'm gonna use an 18 watt uh, LED. 5000 Kelvin, which is the color temperature, um, how bright white it is, so these are um, more like a super bright white, and it can work from 100 to 277 volts. So these you can use with the ballast, um, or you can rewire and use without a ballast, which was what I had to do because my ballast was actually going bad and that's why my fluorescents were blinking. Uh, I thought it was my bulbs, but it wasn't. <laughs> so, still works and I'll show you how to rewire your fixture if that happens to you too. So I just went straight away, took out my old um, tubes and popped in the LED tube and I saw it was still blinking, so that told me my ballast was bad. Um, so you take off the little protective cover and there's a black uh, ballast there and one of the problems with these things is they, they burn electricity themselves so if you bypass that rewire you save some more electricity by not only using LEDs but by not using that anymore so coming out of the wall you've got a black and a white and then another wire that goes to ground there are some instructions that come with the bulbs uh, before you have your ballast and your black and white wires are going into that and then wires are going out to either end of the bulb. Um, now you want to wire it so the black goes to one end of the bulb and the white goes to the other end of the bulb. Very simple. So here I've shown it. On the left I have the um, black or line wire wired to the left sockets. And then on the right I have the neutral wire or white wire wired to the right hand sockets. Pop the LED bulbs in, turn them on. They come on really fast compared to some fluorescents which take a little bit and blink a little bit as they're coming on. But the clear lenses on this version um, are really cool. I think they could totally stand on their own like this. Maybe if I had a better um, light fixture that wasn't so 70s style with this fake wood on it. But uh, So here's the uh, finished product with the little plastic cover over it. And it feels really well. It's a lot of light. Seems like the it's brighter in my bathroom now than before when I had two 40 watt bulbs, which is 80 watts. Now I only have two 18, 36 watts. Score.